spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! The following video will contain spoilers from the Flash episode, The Darkness and the Light. Also, although I did try to make my videos more uh, uh, accessible for family-friendly groups, such as uh, Flash Facts on uh, Facebook and various other ones, uh, this video is going to be having quite an excessive use of the word dick to describe someone, as in Harrison Wells from Earth 2 is a... So, if either spoilers or excessive use of that word offends you, stop watching now. For everybody else, hey guys, Dave here. Oh my god. The darkness and the light, it picked up right where last week left off. And, uh, well, actually it was interesting. It actually does a little flashback, which is kind of appropriate. Remember the, uh, the little uh, end part epilogue of uh, Season 2, Episode 1 of The Flash, when we got a little peek at Star Labs and Earth 2? Well, it picks up there with uh, eight months ago with Harrison Wells doing a press conference. And <clears throat> I gotta admit, I really like the vibe and you know, clothing of Earth 2. I mean, it has this 30s and 40s vintage style to it, but also with a bit of like, like space, you know, kind of like look to the future kind of style to it. And even the, the, the recording devices and stuff, they are modern technology, if not a little better, but they have this retro style to it. So. I don't know what you'd call it. I mean, steampunk is like associated with Victorian stuff. Uh, diesel punk is 30s and 40s, I suppose. But I don't know, it doesn't feel like that. It feels cleaner than diesel punk. I don't know what to call it, but it's awesome. Well, anyway, he reveals that he's actually developed an app as well as a uh, watch that's capable of detecting metahumans. As soon as they said that, I knew something bad was going to happen. Here comes Jay Garrick to confront him to pretty much tell the whole world that Harrison Wells, in fact, did create the particle accelerator accident that caused the metahumans in the first place on Earth 2. He's denying it all up and down, making accusations back and forth. Flash ends up taking off, and a young woman in the audience refers to Dr. Wells as, Dad, are you okay? It, he's, of course, okay. But that was a surprise. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I was, so that was kind of cool. So, then... Flash forward back to modern time and Earth 2 Wells with Barry, Cisco, and Caitlin in uh, Star Labs. They're discussing things. No one's happy to see him. And his attitude is not helping at all. Now, just let me tell you guys, I mean, I heard before the uh, presentations here that, uh, that Earth 2 Wells, Tom Cavanaugh wanted to play a little differently. He talked with the writers and that. And Earth 1... We are used to Eobard Thawne playing the part of Wells as this nurturing guy. Earth 2 Wells, no. He, they, the show writers, when they did the press release, referred to him as a dick. There's a point in the show where Cisco refers to him as a dick. And he earns every iota of it, man. I mean, it's arrogant to the extreme. It's just, it's hysterical. I mean, now, I gotta say this. Tom Cavanaugh? Wonderful character actor. Everybody on The Flash is a wonderful ensemble cast. You guys do a fantastic job. I think you should be nominated for uh, Best Supporting Actor role. You've earned it. However, you are too good at playing a dick. <laughs> God dang it. Seriously. Okay. Uh, so he starts talking about what it needs to uh, do to try to, to take on Zoom and, and, uh, and everything like there. Uh, Joe comes in. As soon as he sees Wells, he starts opening fire. Barry catches the bullets and He's telling him, look, I hate this you know, looking at him too, but this is not the same guy, so I'm trying to get past him. Ugh, it just gets nuts. <clears throat> at one point, Wells even calls Cisco Crisco. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you just kind of keep things moving in Star Labs like straight butter, baby, but you know, it's, it's not good. Anyway, Barry and Cisco go to uh, Jitters to get their coffee fix. Patty comes up, starts talking to them, trying to... Uh, maneuver to try to uh, get some alone time with uh, Barry that doesn't really work very well and we get to see a lovely young woman behind the counter at uh, Jitters uh, that Cisco tries to hit on. Lovely smile. Uh, I, I hope we get to see more of her in the future. I mean, she, she, you know, this Kendra Saunders chick sounds like an interesting person. Yes, I know who it is, you schmucks. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> he gets shot down hard. And, uh, but 
he's doing what he can. I mean, this, this really starts to seem like a bad, dumpy time for Cisco. And then, of course, his power kicks in and he gets a flash of Dr. Light robbing the Central City Bank. He manages to give Barry a warning about it. Barry goes, checks it out, manages to stop the, the, the uh, robbery. And then here comes Jay, not happy about Harrison. They have a bit of a heated rivalry going on. They, you know, they, they start arguing back and forth. They have two different conflicting ways of trying to stop uh, Dr. Light. And it gets heated a bit there at times. I mean, oh god, well it's just, just too good at pushing buttons. Well, later, uh, when they manage to uh, try to find out where she is, uh, they try to rob the bank again, and here comes Flash to stop it. And what happens? We find out that uh, when she reveals her, pops her visor back, which it's an interesting design because, you know, this big of a mask going into a headband, this might be technology that could be used in the future to make the Flash's you know, costume ring. So that could be good. We'll see, have to, uh, we'll see how that works in the future. But when the visor goes back, we get their big recognizing here that Earth to Dr. Light is Linda Park. Now, this has been a big thing that, uh, that made me scratch my head. Yes, she blinds uh, Barry, and he's you know, pretty much unable to fight for a bit. But here's the thing that gets me. I think it's an interesting character choice, but there are certain things that are happening. It has been confirmed that the mysterious brother that Iris West has is going to, in fact, be Wally. Uh, and uh, the writers gave it an excuse that every season they come in, they say, oh, here comes Cousin Joe, or here comes Uncle Frank, or whatever. They didn't want to do that part, so they just shortened it to try to compress it for the show. we got to remember, Supergirl, Arrow, The Flash, all of these have a little disclaimer that this is based on the DC Comics. Now, yes, it's one of the most wonderful shows and has a vibrant way of doing things that has this huge history to draw on, but they're also doing their own thing. And making Linda Park, uh, in the comics, the wife of Wally West, one of the Flashes, a metahuman on another Earth? Uh, it's interesting. I mean, it has been done technically before. I mean, Carol Ferris, uh, Star Sapphire to uh, Hal Jordan's Green Lantern. So it's not unheard of, but <laughs> while Barry's blind and ends up you know, getting coached by Cisco, uh, thanks to some tech, to go on a blind date with Patty after finally getting to talk about that. I mean, Wells, oh my god. Before this, Wells was actually talking to Cisco, trying to find out what made him you know, angry. If Cisco t tells him, look, you know, he put his hand through my chest to stop my heart. And Wells' reaction is this crap-eating grin. He says, yeah, that would do it. That grin in front of Cisco's face. Oh, my God. I am not a violent man, but I wanted to knock that smile off his face with a hammer. Oh! I hate it. But, I mean, he just keeps going. I mean, literally, if you are 21 and older, you can turn... The Flash into a drinking game now. Anytime Wells does something, it makes someone say out loud, Wells, you dick. Take a shot. You know, 21 and older people drink responsibly. Seriously. Anyway, <laughs> it's just, it gets nuts. Fortunately, uh, 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 Barry's vision does eventually come back at the end of Patty's day, and which comes with a good thing because. Uh, Jay and Caitlin are staking out Linda, now I'm hope, fearing that uh, Dr. Light could come and try to kill her doppelganger. And they're actually having a nice talk about things that are or aren't on Jay's world. One of the most interesting things that got dropped was they were talking about Tahiti and also Atlantis. Now, of course, Caitlin goes to the sunken underwater city and Jay says, no, it's actually on the surface. One of my best friends is from there. Okay. Now, i got to remember, as I said, this is based on the DC Comics, but not exact. Uh, this is not necessarily the classic JSA of Earth 2 that we're familiar with. There's a lot to draw on. They did this with the whole hinting that, uh, that Jay's helmet comes from his dad from the War of the Americas. That never happened anywhere else. So, who is he talking about? Is he talking about Arthur, Aquaman, uh, any of the uh, Aqua lads, Calderam or Garth, uh, Tula, Aqua Girl, Mira? Uh, there's even also in the comic book Earth 2 an Aqua Woman that had control over water and stuff. Uh, so that was interesting. I don't know. We don't know who that could be. And it really opens up some interesting possibilities. Of course, it's also important to note that there is a resort on our world called Atlantis. So that's important to know. 
Anyway, Dr. Light takes him out of uh, the van. Jay tries to get into a stop, but still no powers and is feeling really bad about that. Uh, fortunately, uh, Iris manages to get a shot off and to take out Dr. Light's uh, mask after she took out the editor uh, and gets to reveal to Linda, hey, I got a metahuman out here with my face on it and it's trying to be me and kill me. Yay. No, it's rather interesting. And while they're trying to figure out how they could try to match anything, which is difficult because DNA-wise, anything will do will just match to this Earth's Linda. They start talking about the fact that maybe Zoom sent Dr. Light there because somehow Zoom knows about Barry's personal past with Linda. If that's the case, who the heck is Zoom? And how would he Zoom know about Barry? Weird questions to ask, but it makes you wonder. So, while this is going on, Wells, revealing a bit of technology I knew he was going to do eventually, but I didn't expect it this soon, in the most dick way. Oh my god. Cisco was doing so well trying to hide his powers, coming up with excuses. But Wells reveals his metahuman detector app and outs Cisco. Now, there's one thing to be outed from the closet. It's another to be launched like a cannonball from Earth 2. Wells, you dick! Oh! <laughs> oh, I do. It was bad. Eventually, though, what we get is, uh, during during all this, we also get Jay also fighting with Wells. At one point, they they start accusing each other, and, and uh, Wells even calls Jay a coward because he was running from Zoom. Jay punched Wells, and I cheered. Barry had to break them up. They finally get some calm and restored here. So, Wells figures out the best way to try to, to fix this is give uh, Cisco the mask, so he'll be able to detect it. So he outs Cisco about his powers. They try to make it work. Cisco tries to use his powers consciously and doesn't. And Wells, in the most dickish, prodding, tiger mom, I don't give a crap how you feel, just do it way, shoves the mask into his chest. He gets the vibe from him and then goes to do it. Now, Barry manages to get to the train station to stop Dr. Light. And thanks to some coaching from Wells, figures out how to do the speed mirage thing. But here's the thing. They keep talking about how fast the Flash is. Now, Barry has been able to go, you know, uh, last I heard it, it in uh, season one's uh, finale, Mach 2, 4, or something like that. But uh, they're describing Jay as being able to go fast, you know, you know, almost the speed of light. And they keep saying that Barry is faster, Barry is faster. How? Fortunately, Barry is able to finally get his speed up, does the speed mirage thing, and outflanks Dr. Light. Then they start getting the idea, once she's captured, to use her, you know, her as bait to lure in Zoom. Jay is like, I'm out, I can't do this. And it was really disheartening because I have always liked Jay, but seeing him broken and just more vulnerable and afraid, it's, it humanizes him. But at the same time, I don't like seeing that part of my one of my favorite heroes there. So, now they're setting up a plan for next week's episode, Enter Zoom. The epilogue shows Earth 2, an abandoned station where uh, it looks like Zoom's actually captured Dr. Wells' daughter. So it looks like all the things that Wells was saying about once Zoom gets his clutches on someone and manipulates you, you can't trust their personality. They will do whatever it takes. So it looks like Wells is doing something either to save his daughter or Zoom's manipulating him, which is the case. We don't know. Hell, at the beginning of the episode, I was wondering, could this girl be Zoom? But no, no, she's captured, clearly, so that's not Wells' daughter. So we don't know who Zoom is. Next week, we already got the preview that they're going to try to use Earth-1's Linda as bait to try to lure Zoom out. So we're going to get Zoom versus Flash. What's going to happen? I don't know. What do you guys think of the episode? Please like, comment, subscribe, share, pass this bad boy around. And I just want to also give a quick shout out to the Flash Facts group on Facebook. Very cool peeps. Uh, there's one uh, young lady I got to meet there. Very fun, very big comic book lover. Uh, I was talking with her about uh, the Earth 2 Wells. And it was just funny because she's also a cosplayer. She does a cosplay of Harley Quinn. We were describing about just how dickish. 
uh, Earth 2 Wells is. She said, he's awesome. I like Earth 2 Wells. I'm like, you cosplay Harley Quinn. Your choice of men is questionable. <laughs> but hey, you know, you know, much love to all the Harley Quinn cosplayers. I got friends that also uh, oh, always play Harley and a bunch of other people. Very cool peeps. Nothing not against that. It's just, it, just if your biggest uh, if you're playing a character whose biggest crush is a psychopath who kills people, maybe your choice of men is questionable. But I digress. What do you guys think about the episode? And are you looking forward to Enter Zoom? Please check it out. And also, coming up tonight on Arrow, Arrow meets Constantine to hopefully resurrect the soul of Sarah. So, what do you guys think? Let me know, guys. Pass this around. And until next time, take care. Peace. Yum, yum.